today it was a day for Ramaphosa because today again <laughs> EFF got Ramaphosa to apologize. Well, now we we'll get guys Ramaphosa a team. Well, I need to guys in the Kumbulu go to Ramaphosa what is it just one me? So, now, so now, but you, what you promise people, you promise that you're going to build one million houses in Alexandria. So, people have been waiting for those houses. Have you even built gay anything? Maybe 40,000 houses there. What do Ramaphosa? Oh, Mina, I didn't say that I was going to build. <laughs> I didn't say that I was going to build one million houses because even the land, there's not even enough land. Hey, politicians and lie, guys. Politicians and lies. Well, I, I'm going to have to give you the video of Ramaphosa, but before I can do so, we need to first look, 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 listen to what uh, uh, look, uh, Julius Malema, the question that he posed to uh, look, uh, President when he asked this question. I can see uh, those guys who are working on your eyes are doing a good job because there is some improvement. Uh, President, it is leadership to admit when you have made a mistake. You can't come here and say you never promised the people of Alexander one million houses. You said so. You said you are going to build one million houses for the people of Alexander. And knowing you being a legally trained person, like you said, you are not an illiterate who just speaks without knowing what he's speaking about. And being a president before you take a stage, your back office would have given you the necessary information which is relevant to this place where you are. You are. So it is important that today you admit that you made a mistake because those people are dying. Uh, some of them stayed at Straitland, uh, and uh, as a result, that land is not for human settlement. And when you created that impression, a lot of expectation was made. We're dealing with human beings here who have got feelings. And when a president speaks, they've got their expectation, you know, high because they know it's not a lesser authority speaking. Our fighter was killed, Moshem Patel, in Alexander, fighting for people to occupy the containers, rightful people to occupy the containers. Because of that daily struggle of housing in Alex, now we have lost our honorary Commissar, during the battle for occupation of these containers. In his honor, and in the honor of the poor of the poorest, people who are sleeping with the rats, people who are staying in places where there is no proper sanitation and water, in their honor, I think it is a correct thing to say, I'm sorry, I've made a miscalculation, and I said one million houses instead of 40,000 houses. Because to say you have not said it, you are now becoming a professional politician who can just say this today and turn against it tomorrow and is business as usual. So, Honourable with Malema, little resource you have to left, conclude. Uh, with the little numbers that you have now, maybe this will help you to regain some confidence. And Alexander, thank you. Okay, so after that, Gwashub, uh, Gwashub, but the man at the end of it all, he ended up apologizing. And that's the, the part. He says that he's sorry for creating wrong impression. And I was sitting there like, you know what? The, this story is not necessarily a true reflection of the stories. I mean, if Ramaphosa was as sorry as he says today, Mbalula wouldn't have defended him. Do you remember when Mbalula was on a show with JJ Taban? He was asked, Tebaba, you guys promised to build one million houses. What happened to the one million houses? No, it was never a one million houses. It was the figmentation. Uh, uh, you see, the government of Ramaphosa has got the tendency of lying. They've got the tendency of saying things to impress people, knowing exactly that they're not going to fulfill those things.
That's the problem I have with this government. They've got a very serious bad reputation in terms of how they are, uh, how they deal with people. The promise they made, look, they made. And let me remind you, one of the promise, December two thousand and twenty, December two thousand and twenty-three. There will be no low trading. Low trading is the thing of the past. Low trading. Yes, low trading is going to be the thing of the past. December. End of low trading. January came. Guess what? Stage six. Same same people are being asked. What about what? You said there's not gonna be low trading. What is this? Guess what he said? Don't ask me. Hey, I'm not working at Escom. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying this government have got a tendency of saying things that they know exactly they're never gonna they're never gonna fulfill. But when they get excited. They start saying things. They start speaking in tongues. Then their lies catch up with them. You know, the smartest way to deal with this is never to promise things. that Rather play with words, but never promise things that you know you're not going to deliver. That's my problem with these people. They overpromise. But before we can talk about them overpromise, I think now you need to promise me that you're going to do this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contributing to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so right after that i'm gonna give you the video got on my pause so i'm saying there are smart politicians who can promise you things without promising you things and when you sit down you're like did this person really promise or oh. you know what i'm saying i feel like I would rather, politicians are annoying in that they promise us lies, but I would rather accept the ones that promise things that, you know, they promise, but they don't promise, but they promise. Then this, you know, the problem with the, the, the Gengarama post is that they promise, like they promise, and they make you believe that they're going to do it. The next thing, <laughs> I don't even want to say this. <laughs> Take a look at what it says here. <laughs> Mushavi, let me start by extending my condolences for the passing of Mpasele. I had wanted to call you, but I then got distracted <clears throat> by a whole number of things. I felt very sad uh, when that incident happened because uh, Mbatlele was an important leader in your party. So mm -hmm. my condolences. In addressing <clears throat> precisely the point that you are making, we took care to go back to that recording and listen to it. And, and I had a number of people in my office listening to it and interpreting it because and to the extent honorable malema that uh, it created this impression that i said a million houses for alexander which objectively would not be possible anyway because we just don't have the land there to build the million houses. And to the extent that it created that impression, yes, I will say, I apologize for having made people believe that I meant for Alexander. What I really meant was, yes, we would 
want to build a million houses for the whole country. And as it turned out, of course, we, did, we never really reached even that target because of a whole number of issues. We succeeded in building, during the MTSF, we succeeded in building 200. So the Ramaphosa gang, um, they've got the tendency of, uh, they, 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 they are like um, a person who is about, let's say you were looking for a job, so you get an interview, you pass the interview, and then you go to, you go and sign your contract, and everything is done, and then you get told, okay, now that you have signed the contract, you must come and collect uniform on this day, you know, you've, you've done your induction, you know what I'm saying, so maybe... At that work, they tell you, okay, you will start working on this specific date. Maybe they give you a week, and after a week, you will start come and start working. So, uh, some of the people get, get excited. You know what they do? Hey, you know what? Uh, when I start working, I'm going to build this house. Uh, I'm going to buy a house. Uh, I will change this. <laughs> uh, I will change this. Uh, I will change that. Uh, me, when I start working, um, I'm not go I'm not moving to a flat, into an apartment. I'm going to be traveling every day. You know, you're working very far. You know what I'm saying? The money you're spending on the transport is actually equivalent to... Let me let me see, let me see, let me check this. The money you are spending on the transport is actually equivalent to um. Hey, my daughter, what's happening here? The money you are spending on the transport is actually equivalent to the money that you you look you look. You could have been renting a, fa a flat, and also you get tired. Uh, so you you don't calculate all of those things because you are too excited, and you start saying promising, you start making all sorts of promises, right? So the family get excited. Hi, this one at least is not gonna is not gonna leave us in poverty and go live with people and then you start working. So when you start working and this is this happens, and what it happens is that oh what happens is that um you tell you start realizing that hey, I knock off at four, I get home at seven. Because I need to spend all these hours on a transport. I'm tired. By the time I get home, some of my fellows, they uh, they've already taken bath. They are preparing to sleep. <laughs> I'm getting home. You realize that hey, now you need to leave early in the morning and leave three hours earlier than them. And now you start looking for an apartment. And then the family say, hold you accountable. Based on, on it when you say things out of excitement, you gave them all the promises. About my posa, they are like that person who is excited to get a job, so they make all sorts of <laughs> promises. That is about my posa. They they say the obvious lie, but when it catches up with them, instead of apologizing, they it was my first time to see them really apologizing. Like it was my first time to see them like. Honestly, apologizing. Other than that, it has been about um, I. Uh, <laughs> it has been about hi, hey, 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 h